Hi, I'm Chris Garlock, and I'm with Michael Redmond, Nine Don Professional, and uh, we are going to do our 15-minute highlights of the uh, Game 2 in this historic match uh, between AlphaGo and Lee Sadal. Uh, an exciting game, uh, really was on the edge of, literally, actually, Michael, on the edge of my seat today mm -hmm. for about five hours. Mm -hmm. uh, great commentary. Thank you. Um, and now you have to boil five hours down to 15 minutes, oh, yes, so let's sure. get started. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, just to give a general idea of Please. how I felt throughout the game. Um, the game started with, um, I was really interested to see how AlphaGo would handle Black, mm -hmm. because with Black, um, Black has the initiative and uh, has sort of the responsibility to make use of that, to take control of the game, because, because of the Comey that Black is paying, um, uh, seven and a half points. Uh, in return for having the first move. So Black has to take control, maybe move the game into a kind of a fighting game, um, usually, uh, to, to make good use of the first move. And uh, AlphaGo didn't really seem to be doing that in October when it was playing Fang Hui. Um, so I was looking to see how it would change. And I was very impressed because it did, and it was e even more than I expected. Let's take so a look. let's see the game. We well, started with the star point. And I was saying, oh, start points again. You know, but then it played but they played a 3-4. Yeah, you yeah, were very happy better. to yeah, see it was, this. It was a this. difference. Um, because, um, basically because the 3-4 point um, adds variety to the mm -hmm. game. It, uh, it makes it much more complicated. So I was wondering if maybe AlphaGo was trying to avoid that at first. But now it, it's not avoiding it. It means that it's willing to play any kind of game, basically. Um, now, the Joseki would be to play here or here. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it's a pretty common uh, variation to leave it for the play Tenuki and play once here. So this move in itself was not so unusual. Usually now, after this, black is going to look at these stones as dispensable. So maybe um, if white continues playing moves in that area, black might just give them up. And so black would play Maybe something play like here. this. And if white here, maybe black would continue with something, uh, let's see, a Chinese style opening and make a moyo on this side of the board while white still needs one more move to finish off all those mm -hmm. stones. Um, that would be a kind of a often used opening. But instead, AlphaGo plays once here and then white here. Uh, we would expect some kind of extension, but it didn't and it played here. And after playing this one move to play elsewhere is a bit unusual. In fact, it's very unusual mm -hmm. um, because it does, it. Um, by investing this one move here, um, it makes it impossible for black to give up that group. Um, whereas if it was just the two stones, it would be dispensable. After making this exchange and giving white some profit on the left side here, um, now it's sort of, uh, it's much more costly for black to throw that group away. So if white plays here, there's a potential attack on the black stones. Uh, but uh, apparently AlphaGo wasn't, apparent, wasn't worried about that. And AlphaGo never Lisa worries. Dull, actually um, didn't do that immediately. He chose to play this one, which is a more balance-oriented move. Um, then AlphaGo played a peep once, and that's again an, an un unusual move, but not necessarily bad. It does lose some potential to try different moves, um, but later in the game, white will maybe not answer the same way, so right. just making sure that white answers that way, it um, simplifies the game a little bit, so it's not necessarily bad. Then he switched to the corner there, uh, this is also a standard sequence in itself. Connect and black cut once. This is actually a Jose, so it's, it, there's nothing unusual about the play here. Um, but the fact, and then he extended. The fact that he played the corner here first and then played the extension, it, it's a very good sequence here because uh, black has to settle these stones somehow at some point anyway. And this, this is an even exchange. It's a joseki, so mm -hmm. it's considered even for both players. But the fact that Black played this first and, and decided the shape here, basically, before choosing the extension, made it easier, you might say, for Black to choose a point to extend. Like, Black has a choice between this move or this move or this move, which is the original joseki, but is sort of um, slightly falling out of favor among professionals professional, because, because of the weakness of it, right. here. Um, but when Wet Black was, had not played all of this, Black still sort of wanted to play all the way out. Once this shape is fixed here, it's much more reasonable for Black to be pulling back like this. So it, uh, make, it adds more v validity 
to this the, this choice that AlphaGo made here okay. by playing this first. So it's a very nice sequence in all. Uh, the game is probably, it looks sort of even at this point, but AlphaGo is definitely um, taking the initiative in deciding what kind of game it's going to be. So with white, I would already be feeling a bit pressured. And I would know that at least, it's, at the best, it's an even game, but maybe actually um, the, the fact that black is sort of taking an initiative here, maybe black's ahead already. And I think that's what uh, Lisano said in the press conference, was that he felt He's, pressured. He felt that he was completely close out from the beginning of the game. Right. Um, and it was the fact that black is putting pressure on white um, already from the beginning of the game um, and, it, and not making any mistakes. And then um, after that, uh, Black, we'll see, I'll, I hope to show you <laughs> that Black actually made all of that work and yeah, that's, kept that's his uh, lead. Uh, white comes here. Uh, usually you would this expect would Black normal, to play here. But in this uh, case. Yeah. White was sort of hoping to jump into the 3-3 three, three point, which right. is very popular nowadays. It's a very popular joseki that starts with that. This sort, sort of makes that more difficult for White. Um, and basically, because the side here, because of the strong white group here, the side here is not so big, so black's forcing white to play on that side, which is a good strategy. And now comes the bombshell, right? Yeah, that, that was a move that no one I thought one it was expected. a mistake when it was played. I thought I missed something. Well, it. actually, on the server where I was watching to make sure I had the moves right, right uh, the person who um, was putting, inputting the moves <laughs> Got it wrong. He, 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 oh, was, really? he, he was playing here. Because which is what? W what he was expecting. Right. And that person had to, to take back that move. And <laughs> I've, I've been that guy, here. so I, I, yeah. I, you know. Yeah. So um, I was looking at the server and it was showing a different move. But then I looked at the game room on the TV and oh, yeah. So this is I the love right this one. Move. This was, the, this the was server the move of, was This wrong. is the move of the game. And you know, the people doing those servers, uh, inputting the moves, are pretty strong players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, black played here. And actually, I think white should have just played like this. Yes. Um, and yes. black is playing a lot of innovative, exciting moves. But it's hard to say if black has gained anything really yet. So I think the game would be about even at this point. Right. But when white crawls and black connects here, we can see that all of this stuff that black is doing is coming together. To, and this was the move that black wanted to play to start a fight here. And all of these stones that were um, traditionally would be called questionable, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. are actually working in Black's favor when this fight comes up. So it, um, it's all coming together. It's a beautiful once sequence. You see so that's why I would sort of question this. Question, yeah. yeah. White pushed, Black played Kosumi. Covered on the top. And this sequence is a kind of a Tessuji sequence, and it's pretty much forced for both sides. And White. White is alive there on the side now, more or less. Um, black has reduced White's right side. And then this move. Uh, that's a nice light move. That's a very um, nice move. It's not a, a move that people would not uh, think of. It's a nice looking move. Um, and Black does have sort of escape routes for this group here, which is weak. But it, um, he has a move somewhere around here, which would sort of connect up. And, and with this stone here, he, he has an escape route. So we're, toward this side. So it's not as if black is all that weak. So he goes ahead and plays this one. Um, playing this move before this is also good order of moves um, because after this it would not have been forcing. And then he, this is the weakest point in black's territory. Mm -hmm. So everything that black is doing now is, it makes sense. And what's more, it, it was looking adventurous and now it makes sense. So that's really brilliant, I think. Yeah, when, when they played these moves here and, and then with the connection, mm -hmm. just everything, as you say, comes together uh, mm -hmm. beautifully. And you really had a, a lovely feel to the game. Yeah. So now White plays here. Now White is uh, sort of planning to um, make an attack on these stones. Mm -hmm. To start that, White plays here. This sort of uh, cuts this group off from the left side here. So uh, Black has to move out in this direction to sa be safe. But also, white is threatening this one, which mm -hmm. is actually more troublesome for black because it cre creates a weak group here and a weak group here. And if this weak group is sort of uh, um, struggling in the center, that means that that would have a bad effect on this half of the board, and of okay. course these stones also. So black answered by playing here. Um, and at this point, uh, 
he said he'll play this move, which was a very, very big territorial move. Right. But I think this might have been a problem um, because if I was white, um, I would play somewhere around here or here to make a more direct attack against the black stones here. And I would be, let's put it here, for instance, and say black runs away somehow. Um, black might find a better move than that, actually, but um, just, just for instance. Okay. Um, with a stone in this vicinity, it will be very easy for white to jump in here. Right. And for the time being, I think this kind of stuff would be bigger. Although balance. this is a huge move, the, the value of this move is that it makes this a living group. But it's not really that weak to start with, but it adds security. Also, um, after black plays here, let's just show that um, white can later jump into the corner here. Right, there's the so there's the added value there. So it's a, it's a pretty big move, but I think this was actually a chance for white to take the initiative in the center of the board, um, which would have effects on all sorts of places on the board. This is how I would play. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, traditionally, it's probably bad form for me to be questioning Lee Settle's move, but that's how I feel in this position. And so after black played here, now if this, this connects up to sort of to the moyo here, now this is going to be um, a moyo, the side territory will be, well, except for the corner here, it will be more safe, and then it will be spreading into the center, which would be bad for white. So white starts the attack here. He started here, and here, and there. But uh, by instead of connecting the dame points here, black is dodging to the right. side um, and uh, hoping to connect up this direction. So this is good for black, too. And I think then white uh, played once here and then invaded. Um, and here, now this kind of indirect fight uh, attack against this zone, a direct attack, black has to kill it. But with an indirect uh, attack, black is gaining on the sides. So this is a very pro-like move also. White played here and jumped. And you can see black is sort of playing thickly, um, a very safe way. And also, it's an effective attack on white. Let's just get a few more moves. And then this one. So I think we can sort of do a, a because we have to wrap up. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really find any mistakes right. in black's play. Right. And I'm finding moves that I, I wouldn't even think of here. And they're really brilliant um, because they actually, he actually put them together to make them work and to sort of um, focus on this attack that Black made on the right side. Um, I, did, I did question White's move here, for one thing, that allowed that to happen. Um, but that's sort of Lee Settle's style, I guess. But it, so I, I think we just have to uh, admire what AlphaGo did um, more than uh, question Lee Settle's moves. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was it was a brilliant game, and and I felt like uh, Lee Sedol fought incredibly mm -hmm. strongly, mm -hmm. you know, right through to the very end, um, and it was just you know an amazing, amazing game. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as you say, there was several just sort of brilliant moves mm -hmm. uh, that we saw coming from yeah. AlphaGo this time. That almost no human pro would have thought of. I think. Right. I think everyone was surprised by this uh, shoulder hit. So we'll be looking ahead to game three, mm -hmm. which will be uh, important to see what AlphaGo will come up with next. But also, uh, Lisa Dahl is really under the gun. He's 0-2 now, yeah, yeah, and so uh, he's got to win. He's got to win uh, every, every game from here on out. That's so right, I don't yeah. know about you, but uh, <laughs> it's it's going to be tough going. Yes. It's going to be tough going. Thank you so much, Michael Redman, Nine Down Professional. I'm Chris Garlock, managing editor of the American Go e Journal. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next. <laughs>